Hi guys, welcome to this video comparing bases and alkalis. What we're going to do then is compare both bases and alkalis and see how they're similar and different. Now the first thing to note is that a base is something that neutralizes an acid and an alkali is also something that neutralizes an acid. So the general equation for a base is base plus acid forms a salt and water. For an alkali, it's very similar, it's an alkali plus acid forms a salt and water. So you might notice at the moment there isn't a huge amount of difference between the two. Now there is only really one difference between them and that's down to solubility. So a base can be soluble or insoluble so it can dissolve to make an aqueous solution or it can stay as a solid. However an alkali is only something that is soluble. So if it dissolves it is an alkali and it's a base. If it doesn't dissolve it's just a base. Now, there are only a few ways they can actually ask you questions on this, and this is one example of it, which says, explain why all alkalis are bases, but not all bases are alkalis. So to answer this, think about solubility. Think about what are bases in terms of solubility, what are alkalis in terms of solubility, and use that to answer the question. Pause the video, have a go, we'll see how you've done in a bit. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at the question then. Let's see what you needed to put. So the first thing to talk about Let's go for bases. All bases and alkalis react with an acid to produce a salt and water. So that is how they are both similar. That gets you one mark. Alkalis are soluble bases. So all alkalis are bases that are soluble. Gets you the second mark. You could have also said bases can be soluble and insoluble. So there's the difference between them. So a base can be soluble, a base can be insoluble, but an alkali can only be soluble and that is your major difference between the two. Okay, the review question then is very similar to the one we've just looked at, but this time it's using symbol equations and state symbols. So it says, look at the reactions below, use your knowledge of alkalis and bases to explain which reaction is most likely to contain an alkali. So what you want to do is look at both of the hydroxides here, look at the state symbols, Think which ones are soluble, which ones are insoluble, and which one of those two is most likely to be that alkali, and why talk in terms of solubility. That brings this video to an end. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click on subscribe down below, and you can also find out more information on my website, mrbarnstc.com, and Facebook, and Twitter.